Hello gamers, welcome back to the Utopia server and as you may or may not know, I can't really remember if I've said it or not I am attempting to build a fusion reactor Oh snow, go away, thank you um, Now, we, since we've updated the server, everything's been made a lot more difficult and it's going to be taking a little while so I got a little bit of help from Nemsun to help me set up this AE system to try and make everything go a bit smoother, auto craft a load of things and get things going. So I will play a bit of footage that I recorded a little while ago of me and Nemson wandering around crafting a load of things and occasionally talking to each other because we were using a um, weird sort of push to talk thing to talk to each other. But I'll play that video now and you can check it out and then I'll see you back in a bit. <clears throat> uh, do that. Yes. Uh, where did you put that iridium plate? Because this other recipe with platinum ingots doesn't work. I thought it wouldn't. Yeah, it must be if you haven't got it, Greg Tech on hard or something. I've got it in. I've got it in my inventory. I'll throw it to you now. Down here. It still doesn't look like it wants to uh, encode the pattern even though I've got it set up for the ultimate pack version of the recipe. But the wiki seems to show that they're charged crystals. Do you think they need to be charged first? No, they should be fine. Everything else works with empty ones. The energy flow circuit, though, doesn't have a charge, does it? No, it doesn't. So it might be that it needs to have the power in the crystals first? No, it shouldn't do. Okay, I'm going to test the recipe in a you, crafting bench. What have you got in your in your craft? You've got iridium plate in the middle, tungsten plates top and bottom, advanced circuits in the corners, and two lapatron crystals. I got four lapatron crystals according to the wiki. Oh well, I would try it the way that NEI says to do it, which is iridium plate in the middle, tungsten plates top and bottom. Lapatron. Have we got any tungsten plates? Yes, I blagged some off center earlier. Because I, I don't see any in the uh, ME system at the minute. Yeah, they're currently ingots, so I'll, I'll squish them now. Okay, I'll I'll wait a minute then and see if we can figure that out. I'll have a look in NEI so I can see the recipe for myself as well. It's awkward having the, the wiki out of date compared to NEI, isn't it? Yes, and there's like three different wikis as well. They're all out of date, by the way. <laughs> of course, they're all out of date by the time a new mod comes out. I need two stacks of both chrome and titanium. This could be tricky. Is there any way of crafting it outside of getting the bees to make it directly? Uh, well, I've at the moment I've got the bauxite dust and the redstone dust in the machines, the industrial electrolyzers, which gives me a fairly small amount of chrome and titanium out of it. Okay, well that's a start. At least if we know what the materials are we're looking for, we can go and scout around and try and find them all. Yeah, good luck finding bauxite. It's well odd. Uh, there's another way of making bauxite, though, isn't there? Not that any I suggests. Well, I've managed to get the energy flow circuits recipe into the ME system now, so we're we're on the right track, and I believe I've got all of the material components set up in there as well. Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. I've got advanced circuits to make. I'll have to do that as well. 
That requires 128 iridium plates just to do some material components for it all. Wow, okay, so that's all the bauxite dust that I have used up, and I have about 14 titanium. 14 out of quite a lot, yes? I started off with about four stacks of the bauxite dust. Wow. The other thing we've got to make is industrial TNT. I've got a bit of that backed up. 1,024? Is that... You, you need that to make the stuff, don't you? You don't actually need anything. You need that to make something. Make the iridium plates, yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's not something I need to make in the AE system. All the components for making these energy flow crystals are in the system now, ready to auto-craft. So now I'm going to have a look on the uh, Nichrome heating coils. Nichrome, Nichrome heating coils, something like that. I'm going to work that out next. More chrome, yay. Yeah, chrome in the centre and ferrous or nickel around the sides. So nickel Which, which or... we're running a little low of, I think. And that needs to go to rolling machine. Okay. Your rolling machines are busy at the minute, are they? Not yet. Okay. We only have the one rolling machine over in the Warlords, don't we, I think? Is that the only one we've got? Right, I'd better go ahead and stack it up a bit then. I'll just work out my numbers, make sure that it's exactly what it says in, on the tin over here. It's not actually that bad because it looks like I need 64. So I just need a stack of chrome and a stack of, well, four stacks mixed of ferrous, nickel, or whatever. So I'm going to have a look around. Um, have you got chrome anywhere at all? Yes, I have some. Uh, Are I you kind of using need that it. at the minute? Are you using that, yeah? Okay. Not right now, but I, I need uh, two stacks of it. Two stacks for what part? For the reflectors or something? Highly advanced machine blocks. Oh, right, yeah, you do. And titanium form as well, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, that's all part of the process that we need to make those as well. So I'm going to go and do some uh, hunting around for the nickel because we need those at least as well, and that's not reliant on the, the chrome... Ferrous and nickel ingots. I'm going to see what we've got. Wasn't Bolef making some ruby dust with bees at one point? Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. Is that all stopped now? Uh, probably. He's more focused these days on what he actually needed. So his whole productivity has been to make alvarez, to make platinum bees, to make the uh, iridium so that you'd have enough iridium for the project. Cool. And now it seems like you've got enough iridium for the project. Yeah, I think so. Just, it's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is yeah, silly. Yeah, Greg. We can't do it. <laughs> we we can uh, keep going though. Don't don't stop. Don't stop. Do you see what I mean? This is what I was going on about for a while. It's just figuring out how to get all these rubies to make ruby dust, because that's the only way, practically, of doing the chrome. Bees! Yeah, I'll be back to that in a bit, because that's going to take a lot of sorting the bees out to make them work for us. Does he not keep the, the princesses, whatever it is, the queens or whatever? Uh, essentially, not always, no. Starting to eat into the copper supplies, I see. You're getting through some, are you? Yeah, trying to. Do you know if there's a UU matter recipe for rubies or anything, or chrome or anything like that? I don't offhand. I can Google it if you want. 
Well, it might be worthwhile because you don't need it for anything else right now, do you? No, that's why I was building up a stockpile of it so that we could make something like this if it came up. Okay, do you mean the diamond chest? Uh, no, not the diamond chest. There's an ender chest that's not connected to the AE system. Yeah, got it. I am putting in the loot of my findings. Cool. Do you want me to take out the UU as well? Yeah, you go and use it for... I guess use it for bauxite because I've just put a load of rubies in there, so... We can make titanium direct. It's going to be much more efficient than making the bauxite. Really? Cool. Yeah. Can we make chrome direct? No, it doesn't look like it. So we need rubies. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to need quite a lot of dust making out of them. So, this is a turn up for the books. We can make titanium dust out of UU matter, which is very cool. It's going to save me a lot of back in a bit. You can make bauxite dust from UU matter, but it's much more efficient, it seems at least, to just make the titanium straight off the bat. There you go, I think that'll be enough. So I have 12, oh no, I need a few more. These jelly beans are the best. There we go, good. Now I just need this thing to hurry up a lot. So if I put in the titanium, and can I put titanium in there as well, I think? And leave that for 12 years. That'd be good. And I've got a load of ruby dust. I can make rubies out of UU as well, which is brilliant. Put the ruby dust in there. Good. Excellent, it's coming along. I need to get back to making some, what is it, brass or bronze? I always get them two mixed up. Yeah. Loads of copper just sitting in there. Interesting. That red alloy can go in there. Brass. Uh, so what's this? That's one stack. Yeah, I can work with that to begin with at least. I'm using the bending machine again. As ever, using loads of them all the time. Nemps and whizzes past. Where do you need the titanium right now? I've got two stacks of titanium dust in this cooking machine, taking forever to cook. I've got 15 on the floor in front of this machine array. Ooh, ingots. Lovely. Uh, we had them at base, actually. Uh, so where's the diamond dust being processed, then? All across here. Is this processing directly into Chrome? No, I'm going to need to centrifuge it, I think, aren't I? What, what are you yeah. trying to make? Chrome? Chrome from Ruby. Yeah, that's in here. That's in this electrolyzer pumping away. You can use the one to the right of it, I suppose, now, now that we don't need the bauxite going. Okay, so I'll start maintaining and filling that. And then the chrome dust needs put into a furnace. Uh, is it a furnace or is it an industrial blast furnace or what? I don't know, I'll find out. Chrome dust goes in this thing next to it. Okay, and I need 64 chrome ingots altogether. And then we can uh, be away. And I've already got one, so 63 to go. 
and I need two stacks and I have whatever 21 plus 14 is, 35. Okay, so we're doing pretty well. We've got a fair few things going. Uh, he's using the rolling machine for this. I'll put it back afterwards, I guess. I need half a stack of iridium plates. Which that should make. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I've got all kinds of rubbish in my inventory. Let's put a couple of these things back if I can. This server lag is getting ridiculous. For all the things we're doing at the moment. I've also managed to start using up my power. Partly because I've got the two industrial electrolyzers running constantly, as well as the industrial blast furnace that uses quite a lot of power, um, as well as all five of the benders running a lot, and the macerator a little bit, the compressor a lot. Yeah, it's all being used. So all my, all my power's going. There we go, finally got in there. So, iridium alloy goes in there. They get exploded with the industrial TNT. And I'm going to need a lot more industrial TNT. Good. Of course I do. I need a lot of everything. So you just about taken every bit of copper the Warlord base had. No, that should still be pretty near a full barrel. So, that is 16 iridium plates. I need so much copper wire. So many circuits. It's amazing. Need so many of everything. Yeah, I think we're getting there, though. I think we're getting there. I've got a few iridium plates made. And a few more on the way. That's cool. Let me put some more chrome into Squish. And check how we're doing with this stuff. So I've got 13 dust in that one. 15 dust in that one. Let's fill that back up with... Ruby dust. I like that my portal... The biggest problem here with having all these Greg Tech machines is waiting for them all to load in once you get into the chunk. Yep. Because none of your machines have got a... Well, they're slowly but surely, one by one, they're kicking into gear so I can click on them. But it's all the ones that I don't need to click on right now. I sometimes think it helps if you open another inventory, but then again, I don't think it does. Nope, didn't do it. <laughs> oh, ping! They're all in now. Same for me as well. It must be a server thing, I guess. Okay, so that's 32 iridium plates into the AE system. Well, 33, actually. Because of the one template one, yeah? Yep. So this, wow, we're out of copper. Have you used like 50 odd stacks of copper then? That's insane. So a hell of a lot of circuits, isn't it? There's 1,024 electronic circuits, which is 6,144 copper cables. Okay, welcome back. Uh, now I've managed to get all of my titanium plates and chrome plates. They're all in the system here. So I was just going to set up the pattern to get the advanced machine blocks or the, the highly advanced machine blocks, or whatever they're called. Uh, now, does it go this way? Yes, it does. Yeah, the highly advanced machine blocks. 
Uh, what do I do? Just oh, there we go. Click on encode. Brilliant. So now that that is crafted, pop this into here. I think that's. Let's put it there, shall we? Yeah. So we've got a fair few things that have been sorted to be crafted, including the uh, assembler patterns, loads of Lapatron crystals. Uh, that's energy flow circuits, isn't it? Silly me. So uh, let's get a load of these crafted, shall we? I'll pop all these back in here. That should be all the chrome plates, titanium plates, and advanced machine blocks that I need. If I click on craft onto here, I need 32 of them, I believe. Done. Good, 32 highly advanced machine blocks. And so that has used all but one of my titanium plates and all of the chrome plates. Brilliant. Well, I will need a load more chrome plates, so I was going to set up an automated system for them. Uh, so the first step will be to industrial centrifuge redstone to get the ruby dust. Uh, let's take that out of there, shall we? And then the next step is to industrial electrolyze the ruby dust. And it needs eight or nine, I think. And that makes the chrome dust one of those. And then the chrome dust needs to go into the industrial blast furnace which takes a while to cook that into an ingot, and then the ingot needs to go into a plate bender to be turned into a plate. So that's one, two, three, four steps, and probably needs scaling down so that if I have nine centrifuges into one electrolyzer, into one blast furnace into one plate bender then I can scale that up I guess okay well I'll get sorted on that and I will show that in the next video I think and in the meantime as well we will get on with the rest of the bits to be made we've got 128 energy flow circuits so that's always a good start we've got our 64 uh, nichrome heating coils or however you say that uh, da, da, da. Yeah, some other bits and bobs that are needed. Good. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. As a little bit of creepy music comes in. Beautiful. Good. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.